Greetings and felicitations, YouTube. You're all the happy and way back with some more Ace difficulty campaign. There's been some changes to the playlist because actually, believe it or not, the last few episodes I actually have gotten copyright takedowns. It doesn't affect me at all because none of my videos are monetized. So hey, whatever. Just means that I know that I had to make some changes. Pretty much anything from Mandalorian or Rebels, um, and the, uh, the the Galaxy's Edge theme. All of that had to get cut. Um, there may be other cuts. I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime, here's more music for Clone Wars. Uh, let's just jump on in. We're back in the helmet, which means time for some New Republic business. I'm gonna not have that down. <laughs> not until we're flying. I'm gonna try and wear it while we're flying, though. Ooh! Ouch! Oh my gosh, it has, like, docked uh, Corellian Corvettes. That's pretty cool. It's like a floating hanger. Floating hanger? Like a, like a, it's like a mobile star dock, really. Can I talk with you? Sure. Are you going to be a teenager this time? Ardo asked if I saw a way through that minefield Titan setup. But no matter what path we took, we'd lose the fleet. I know it. Oh, okay. So that, that's good to know. Ardo's second choice. We're heading into the Ringali Nebula. No long distance comms. Sensors are almost dark. It's a gamble, but it's better than no chance at all. Yeah, I'd say. When those missiles hit us back at the dockyards, I thought the Temperance was done for. Full shields, and they still almost tore us apart. But we got Teresa and Titan Squadron to chase us, instead of destroying Nadiri for good. That's what matters. Our next steps are unclear, like walking into fog. Better get to the briefing room. Okay. A nice little summary of what uh, what Vanguard Squadron's experience was like in that last mission. I guess I'm flying a U-Wing next. That'll be interesting. Brief in time. Oop, I see General Sindula over there. And yeah, we're back to we're back to this team. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are we? And Imperial reinforcements moving to cut us off. There's no way to defend them all. I was about to say, why are we worried about one Star Destroyer? And then I saw there were five. Like, oh. The problem is, we're wounded, outnumbered, and the Ringali Nebula is already disrupting our long-distance communications. Luckily, General Sindula has located an old broadcast hub that once orbited a nearby moon called Galatan. If we restore the Galatan broadcast hub, we can send a distress signal to New Republic forces outside the nebula. All right. Chief Mechanic Zarelda Sage will lead a repair team to do just that. She'll also locate communication satellites in the area to boost our distress signal. The more active comsats we have, the stronger our transmission will be. Teresa surely knows this too. We can suffer minor losses with the comsats. The more we have working, the faster we can signal Chandrilla for help. The Empire's fighters must not destroy the broadcast hub. We lose that. We won't survive. Keep Zerelda and the Comsat safe. I'll call for aid as soon as you get the signal strength high enough. From there, all we can do is wait and hope. Okay, I mean, I'm curious why a good old-fashioned hollow transceiver won't work. Man, look at this system. Galatan is, is yeah, that's Galatan over there, based uh, just off of the 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 dogfight map. Like, it's a it's a beast of a map. But I'm wondering why we can't get a signal out just through regular holocoms. Oh well, doesn't serve the plot. So here we go. I tried to leave behind their views on morality and certainty. The core of imperial doctrine is being certain that what you're doing is right. Doubt. Is seen as disloyalty. Well, that's interesting. Now I understand that you have to look at your decisions with a clear heart and ask what more you could do, should do. For those who lead, doubt is necessary. The Starhawk Project represents hope for an entire galaxy. It's bigger than any of us. I know you'd rather be defending the Starhawk, but I promise that reactivating the broadcast hub is the best thing you can do to ensure the project's survival. Good luck. I know you won't let me down. It's actually an interesting perspective. I actually, I think I, I think I appreciate that one. That was a good talk. Very good talk. 
Here we go. This will work. Vanguard Squadron has handled dangerous assignments before and performed brilliantly. A deadly nebula on one side and a crumbling moon on the other. That gives us a slim margin of error. It's this, or we come up with something more drastic. You know me, Ardo. There's always another way. Trust me, General, I'm aware. I'm just letting you know that my crew is feeling the strain. Your crew? But I trust my people, you included, to make this happen. Sorry, not now. Good. Why is it that every time there's a conversation involving General Sindula, they let it happen and then somebody looks at you and says, Excuse me, you're not supposed to hear this. Like, punk, shut me up earlier. Alright, let's get out of here. Whew, yeah, looks like it's gonna be you, Wing. But not before we talk to everyone else. Here we go. <laughs> they're, all, they're literally queued up to talk to me. Listen, I know things seem tough. We've stared down death more times than I can count. Stranded in a nebula? That's nothing. We survived the Xavian Abyss. Hunted down by an Imperial fleet? So what? If they could stop us, they would have done it by now. This is war. Everything we face is gonna be tough. That's why the New Republic entrusted... I kinda wanna look at that, that Navy Trooper's gun. That caught my attention. No matter how hard it gets, how hopeless it seems, or how tired we feel, Vanguard. That's cool. Don't give in. Now let's go get them. Just like the uh, the assault rifle that they used at uh, Hoth and Endor. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. There it is. Oh, something they they fixed. They put out a hot fix just for that thumbstick issue I kept having, where the perspective here got fixed and you couldn't advance. They 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 did a hot fix for that uh, just yesterday, actually. Or was it today? It's yesterday you know, or today. After Endor, I wasn't sure about staying with the new Republic. I'd fought the good fight, even shaking that death mark. I didn't see the point in going legit, so to speak. Figured I'd cash out, then get back to doing what I do best. It was Grace who changed my mind. The day I was set to leave, she pulled me aside and told me something I'll never forget. She said, I'll miss you, Frisk. And back home on Dosh, my clan and I never got along. You're too loud, Ferris. Why don't you like hunting, Ferris? <laughs> as soon as I could fly, I left. Made my own way. On my own. Until I met Vanguard. The only thing better than pulling one over on the Empire was flying with my Vanguard buddies. And it never occurred to me they felt the same way. Aww. The point I'm trying to make is whether it's a life or death mission or just helping a Trandoshan feel at home. We make it work. How cute is that? Things look bleak, but when Vanguard flies together, there's nothing we can't do, especially with you around. Well, at least they know who's important. No one will know because we'll be dead. Now that's a win in my book. Uh, except for your goddess, the Great Huntress, Jagan Aft points and all that. She'll she'll hold it against you. Sorry. Oh well. And now we're talking to Zerelda. You're in a U-wing, which is great news for me. I'll need all the support I can get out there. All these here's on temperance. I've never deployed on a mission. I just fixed up what came back. I might be nervous. Scared, even. But I've seen what you and Vanguard can accomplish together. I'm ready. So she's gonna die, right? I won't let you down out there. That's where this is going? She or Frisk is going to die because that's what it feels like. All right, so you wing no matter what. I am not going in with just an ion cannon, and I will not do the auto aim. I can aim better than that. The DPS is doubled, so we're going with the standard laser cannon, please. Uh, oh gosh. Okay, so my two supports are chosen for me. I can give people shields, which is going to be pointless in uh, in campaign because. Frankly, they're already shielded. I might have to, now that I think about it, I might have to do this for keeping Zerelda alive if she's in a shuttle, but I think the briefing showed that she was going to be in a, um, in a uh, Krillian Corvette, in which I don't think you can tactically shield a Krillian Corvette. If so, that'd be pretty neat 
to do in fleet battles, maybe? I don't know, it's not a lot of shield points. Anyway, the turret mine's gonna be useful. Secret Warhead's absolutely hull. We're gonna go Agile, the Slipstream Light Hull, as it's described here. Uh, shields... Um... Honestly, I think I'm going to try out the Fortified Deflector for Campaign. I want to give this a shot. Uh, the shield regeneration is slower, but having more shield is still more hit points. And the moments where I am um, most in need of shield is... Like, the shields are already down anyway. Does that make sense? Like, I'm wondering if the trade-off here is actually going to hurt me in Campaign. That's what I'm wondering. Engine... Uh, we're, I think, yeah, we're going to stick with the normal sublight engine. So yeah, there's a, there's a U-Wing for you. I don't like the lack of, um, secondary equipment options, but we'll make do, because that's what they're making me make do with. It's probably two, because they probably have a very specific purpose intended for, my guess is it's going to be a specific purpose intended for the shield. And that if you don't take the shield, you'd lose the mission, so they have to make sure that they force you with those two, rather than three options, and then you don't pick the one you need to play with. Okay, Vanguard. The broadcast hub is close. I hope it's still in one piece. Look what the nebula's done to that moon! I dread what it could do to our ships. It could be worse. We could be back in the Xavian Abyss. Or dead in the minefield. See? Zorelda gets it. Okay, so I, I was trying. I cannot shield the, uh, the Curling Corvette. I could shield you. No? I could shield you. No? I'm, I'm apparently not shielding anybody right now. Shield! Okay. There's our broadcast hub. Beginning docking procedure. I'll have this old relic up and running in no time. Let's get this done before the Empire notices. I can shield the broadcast hub. I'm shaking in my boots. You're not nervous. Keo, I've seen Vanguard Squadron fly countless missions. What am I supposed to be worried about? Nobody crash into me while I turn, please. Thank you. There we go. Yep, see, there it is. I can shield these little things. It's a mess in here. Stand by while I get this hub up and running. Are those TIE Fighters? Hey, looks like the broadcast hub works. It works, but the system is a wreck. I'm gonna need some time to get all the comm sets back online. Here, have a shield. Giving you an extra shield. It works. Be quick. We have ties headed our way. There we go. Oh, that's smart. I'm actually gonna deploy my mine right over there. <laughs> oh man, I'm just hosing my way through these TIE Fighters right now. Hey! Yes, please! Get back your TIE Bomber. Okay, they got out of my range quickly, so I gotta speed up. Let's send the squad after that one. And then... You... Time for you to die. Gotcha. Another bomber. Bombers are definitely a threat in this. Oh boy, okay, hold on. So she's not got a lot of hit points, that's for sure. Get 
back here. Get back here. Get back here. Get back here. Thank you. That's great news. Okay. There we go. All right. Not bad. Oh, they keep the shields the whole time. That's useful. We need time for the comsat to strengthen our signal. Then I can broadcast our distress call to the new republic. Gotcha. We'll keep the empire away from the comsats. Exactly. Because if we lose them all, we lose everything. Okay, don't lose all of them. Got it. Where is the empire? Huh? Can you answer that? Here they come. Now they're actually targeting me. Interesting. You don't think I know that? Uh oh. Let's go ahead and shield that real quick. Get my shields back up. Where's the next bomber? Oh, I've just... There it is. Nope. Get back here. There he is. Got it. Get everybody focusing down on these targets. Kill them faster that way. Did I, did I lose one? No, I didn't. Oh man, that poor comm set. I need to get reloaded, so there we go. Don't crash into me, please. Thank you. They are all over me right now. Let's go ahead and repair some shields before I get back into combat range. Oh, I hate this. Okay. Where are the bombers? Any bombers? Yeah, there's a bomber. Oh, shoot. Dang it! I'm mad about that. Oh man, I am focused right now. They're shooting me up though, I don't like it. Ah, ah, ah. I'm also getting some real issues with my audio right now. Hopefully it's just me and you guys can hear everything just fine, but... Oh, everything's skipping out. Oh no! I might need to... I might need to quickly pause and change off the 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 hat oh gosh the helmet the hat need a shield uh oh of course you comes that tear needs support yeah they're going to tear that apart come on come on come on come on Let's shield it uh 
Uh, oh my gosh, my ears are a mess right now. I can't hear anything effectively. Okay, there's that dead. There's that dead. Oh, God. I really hope this isn't what it sounds like for you guys. Are they all dead all of a sudden? No. Destroy Imperial Jamming Ship. Got it. Yeehaw! Yikes. 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 Don't like. Don't like. Really don't like. Yeah, reload quicker. Reload. Oh, man. I was on full defensive there. No, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and change out the audio, because this is unlistenable to right now for me. So I'm gonna swap this out real quick, and then we'll be back into the video. Yeah, that was just too much for me to focus on and still be effective as a, as a pilot. Like, I, I, it was so crackly. I don't, hopefully that's not at all what it sounds like for you. I'm very confident that's not what it sounds like for you, but it was impossible for me to hear anything effectively. The audio was just skipping in and out constantly. Like, it was a bad USB connection, basically. And so, uh going to focus on doing well in the mission. Imperial jamming ship just entered the area. Yeehaw. Do you see how little damage I took there? Oh my goodness. Buddy. Come on, buddy. Here, have a shield. We're gonna take that out. Good. All done. May I join you? Jamming ship destroyed. Upside down. There we go. Oh sweet, they fell back. Their reinforcements are running scared. Looks like our work here is done. Is that the end? Don't tell me that's the end. If I died right at the end of the mission again. This is Commander James calling from the Ringali Nebula, requesting emergency assistance. Thanks, Zerelda. We couldn't have done it without you. You're damn right. On your wing, pal. Commander James, we're regrouping with Zerelda and heading back to you. Okay. The Temperance is headed to the far side of the moon. We'll meet you there. Commander, where's the Starhawk? He was more badly damaged than we thought. General Sintola has evacuated all personnel to the Temperance. Hmm. Gave up on it. How sad. That's the end of the mission. We can't abandon it. We can live as our Starhawk prototype. Hmm. Other people who built it. Uh oh, somebody's in a pilot. How was? Somebody was in a pilot outfit. Ah, okay, so he's gonna be the one to die. <laughs> uh, I forgot to do the visor, too. Now I feel like a fool. Oh, well. This helmet's treated me very well. Glassy, he's going up in our next swing. I appreciate it. I like it.
I feel honored to join the fight. Sir, you can't. Have faith, Kyo. Besides, if there's one person who can keep Jerissa's attention, it's me. He's I not wrong. To lead our defenders. The future of Project Starhawk. Maybe the New Republic itself is in your hands. All due respect, sir. You won't last a second out there alone. I think that's the idea. Hello? No. But thanks to you, I've been able to call in some help. Commander James, this is Anvil Squadron. We got your message. We're here to help. Good luck, Vanguard. And may the Force be with you. I mean, when your strategy is uh, just to make sure that the fleet escapes, and you know that the enemy commander has a hard on for killing you specifically, like, yeah, no, that's the absolutely the choice you make. I got efficiency. I was one unfortunate life away from enduring service medal. If my if my ears hadn't been dropping out on me, that would have been that would have been a one and done. I would have had all all of them. No exploit necessary. Anyway, so that's uh, destroy the jammer in less than a minute. Do not allow any commsats to be destroyed. That's funny because before I died, uh, one of the commsats was destroyed. And yeah, there it is. Not bad, not bad. All right, well, I'll go ahead and I'll see you all in the next one. Ta-ta. Love you all. <gasps> and goodbye.